New York State's new gun laws went into effect this week. They were passed this summer by the legislature after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down the state's century-old law on who can carry a firearm in public and where legally they're allowed to bring that weapon. North Country Assemblyman Billy Jones and Matt Simpson joined the leaders of several Adirondack towns this week, calling on the governor to better clarify whether the new law that bans firearms from so-called sensitive areas, including schools, churches, and parks, covers the entire six million acre Adirondack Park. I have made several requests to uh, the governor's office to get us guidelines and guidance on, on that. There are many questions when it comes to uh, the interpretation of a public park and how does the Adirondack Park uh, translate into that. When I was on the floor, when this bill was being debated, the question was asked very succinctly. Will the Adirondack Park, if I was hiking on the Northville to Placid Trail, would I be able to carry my legally permitted handgun? And the answer was no. Subsequently, there was a statement uh, out of the governor's office that said, that no, the, that's not true. But here we are, we still don't know. These sensitive locations will include schools, colleges, daycares, libraries, restaurants that serve alcohol, uh, other places, parks. This week, Governor Hoko outlined the new laws in some of the sensitive areas where guns will not be allowed. But she made no mention of the Adirondack Park. Earlier in the week, she had told reporters in Albany that guidelines would be published this week and that carry rules for the Adirondacks were not expected to change. Assemblyman Simpson wants to take it a step further, though, and amend the concealed carry law to change the language to exclude the Adirondack Park. Lawmakers likely won't take that up, though, until the new session in January.